John, the guy wants to divorce me. I'm trying to figure out a way to stop him. If you tell him I'm certifiable, that doesn't exactly make me any more appealing, you listen, know? Carly, listen. Carly, I really need to get some more signatures, but if you need me to stick around, no, it's I okay, will. sweetie. You, you go. I'll be fine once I strangle John. Huh. You huh. mess with my cousin, then you have to answer to me. Well, that's a real deterrent there, isn't it? Wait. You told Hal that I went to see Rosanna. Please tell me that you didn't tell him why. No, your $50 million secret is safe. But what difference does it make? This guy's going to divorce you anyway. No. Well, I'm going to stall him. How, how are you going to do that? Born. How are you going to do that? Even if you fi he files an incompatibility suit. I mean, how are you going to fight that? It's not like you've been married a long time and you have a whole lot of marital assets to divide up or something like that. What do you mean, marital assets? Oh, you know, uh, stocks, bonds, property, whatever. You mean... Like a house, sir? Yeah, like a house. That house is Hal's. Wait a minute, he didn't sign it over to you. It's not in your name. No, no. All right. But really, what does that matter? I, I'm his wife. Yeah. Right? So half of what he has, I have. Not necessarily. That's not and, true. And beyond no. all that, possession is it, it, it's nine, nine tenths, tenths of the, of the lot. No. That's right, that's right. And, and Hal left me. He left me in that house. And you, I have you, possession, haven't you, I? Uh, before you do anything, I talk to a lawyer. It's what you? I'm going to do oh. until this baby is born. It's, it's perfect. Where are you going? I'm going to Hal's. Where do you think? Rosanna. Come in. Good to see you. It's been a while. Yes, it has. Well, you have a lovely home. I don't remember ever being here before. It's very warm, very you. Uh, Rosanna, could we dispense with the polite chat? See, this is a little bit awkward. I spoke to John Dixon. He told me what happened in Reno. He did? Well, his version, anyway. He says Carly flew out there, and then for some reason she attacked you. I figure he's exaggerating, well, because actually, why would Carly... I told you Carly... the truth. That's, that's pretty much what happened, Hal. And you had Carly committed to a psychiatric ward? Yes, I did. Rosanna, I don't know why you're here, but I want you to remember something. Carly is pregnant. It's been a difficult pregnancy, and getting her Hal, through... Hal, you don't have to warn me off. Day. I am more worried about this baby than you could possibly know. Why was Carly so angry? Well, my relationship with Carly has always been complicated. And I feel... Look, since you're the baby's father, I think it's about time that you knew all about it. Know that I... Why should you feel terrible? Well, hell, because I'm... I'm afraid I may have made it impossible for Carly to have a, a normal marriage, maybe even a normal pregnancy. Why? You've had nothing to do with our problems or the problems Carly's had with this pregnancy. No. But I have had everything to do with why Carly was so obsessed with getting pregnant so fast. I know it's not completely my responsibility. She's the one who got pregnant. Rosanna, what are you doing here? Your sister was concerned about what happened in Reno. She was worried about you and the baby. Oh, yeah. What, what exactly have you told Hal about all that, Rosemary? Oh, not much. Just that somehow she feels responsible for your being pregnant. And since this pregnancy has been so difficult on all of us, I'd kind of like to hear what she has to say, Rosanna. Well, I guess it all started when Carly lost her first baby. I felt responsible, even though it was an accident. And so I decided to <sighs> sit... Carly! Oh, my God, Carly! Carly, say something. She's been out for a while. Don't you think we should call a doctor, maybe get her to a hospital? <laughs> oh. Yeah, right. Come on, Carly. Oh, come on, please. You've got to be okay. Carly, uh, I'm sorry. And she should be coming to right about now. Did you hear what I said, Carly? I, I said yes, yes, you idiot. What do you think you're doing coming here and pulling this on me? You were faking it? You didn't pass out? That was so mean, Carly. You scared me half to death. Well, I had to think of some way to keep you quiet, didn't I? Well, it didn't work, because I came here to tell the truth, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Oh, Hal Munson is a good man. He deserves to know what is going on here. Don't you dare. 
I made up my mind, Carly. I'm gonna tell that man what I came here to say. How much you care about this baby? Well, someone has to. Well, then why are you trying to ruin things for me? Carly, you are inches away from a meltdown. Now, that's not good for you or for this baby. I think telling Hal will take some of the pressure it's off of you. It's none of your business, but it's I... It's all of my business. business. This whole thing is my fault, Carly. Now, I can't change what I've done, but I can make sure that this baby is born healthy and that it gets the best care. If you say one freaking word to Hal about any of this, I will see to it that neither of you ever get to see this baby. Mm, I will split to Carly. get it. I will. And this child will never get to see sweet daddy or, or darling auntie Rosanna. And you think that you can't sleep well at night now? Just wait till I turn up missing with this baby and see how you feel about being responsible for that. The doctor said that we should call an ambulance if she doesn't come to. Oh, good. She did. What a relief. But what are you doing up? You should rest, Rosanna. She really should rest. So you just come over here. You sit down, okay? And you rest. Now, Rosanna, I'd really like to hear what you were going to say about somehow being responsible for Carly's pregnancy. I'd really like to hear about how you were responsible for Carly's pregnancy. <clears throat> yeah, well, um, as I said, Carly and I have always had problems, and um, they seem to have come to a head when she had her, her miscarriage, and so that's why... When I heard that she was pregnant again so, so quickly, um, I knew why. You know, I knew that she was so upset over the loss of her first child, and that's why she was so obsessed with getting pregnant again. Well, I heard all about what happened to Carly when she lost her baby. Are you saying that that is the reason that she's not uh, How? I don't know anything is? about that. I haven't been here. I, I, I never know why Carly acts the way she does. So you came all the way from Reno to tell me that Carly got pregnant because she lost a baby, is that? You know what, I, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. Besides, Carly, Carly really should get her rest, like you said, and I, I really should be going. Just remember, baby first. Don't you worry about that. This baby's going to get the best care it possibly can before and after it's born. Well, that's all I needed to hear. Bye, Carly. Rosanna? It looks like you're packing. Are you leaving? Nope. I'm staying right here. At first, I thought it would be better if we split. Now I'm not so sure. I think we can handle it. I can handle it. And this time, it really will be better. Because I will be here just for that baby. I don't want anything from you. No expectations. In other words, no feelings. Carly, this is about getting you through this pregnancy safely. Now, wouldn't you feel more secure if I was here and we weren't fighting? I've already told you I want that, Hal. Well, then let's do everything we have to do to get along. Deal? Shall we sign a contract? Only if you want to. This, this is really cold, Hal. I wish... I wish we could still work somehow, but we can't, because I've been so terrible to you. And I know that it's insane to think that we could go back, but maybe we could have respect for each other. Maybe we could figure out a way to, to be good to one another. No, <laughs> I'm sorry, correction. Maybe I can figure out a way to be good to you. Because you've always been good to me. You don't have to do anything, Carly. No, I know. No, no expectations.